everybody thanks for stopping by mac customs so our plan today is we're going to take a bunch of recycled material build a chicken tractor for hopefully little to no cost whatsoever we came across this uh just up the road from us a neighbor was getting rid of this old frame so we said that would be perfect we have some chain link um, we're going to change it a little bit we found out that it actually works a lot better on the back side just some old scrap uh, pieces of wood on the bottom here to be able to pull it with and uh, we're still kind of designing it we're just looking around the yard seeing what we have to use and we're going to go from there this whole layer end up there Slide it my way a bit. Hey, to there. Good. You, you, to the edge. Good. Give me half what you got hanging over. Good. Go in there and put that up. You hold that side there, okay? Let me pull it to you a little bit. Hold on one second, I gotta get this.
right guys, I'm going to show you a little update on the chicken coop here. Uh, the weather turned super windy and it kept knocking the camera over. So we gave up on filming, but we were on a good roll, so we kept working. So what we did, uh, you can see both sides have the chain link. We ended up cutting more of this uh, lattice from uh, like a decorative lattice to use for this side. We of course still, there's an opening up top there. And we also got some roof patches in there. It's a pretty wild, just a piece of lattice on one side, board, uh, chipboard or something there. Just anything we had that would, uh, that would work. We will be putting, of course, a tarp there as well. We did get it moved into place as well. Uh, we, of course, started working over there on the other side of the chicken coop. We just drug it over and pulled it into place here. back in place again. We have the door welded on there. Rye is gone to get the last piece for up top here. We just got to measure that out. Now this is for our meat birds, but they're still too young to grow outside. So in the meantime, I'm going to put a couple perches in here and I'm going to put my uh, eight wiggle layers out to give them a chance to get outside. And that way there, it'll also integrate them with the rest of my flock. So while we're finishing building this, we're going to get some chickens in there. There we have our second chicken tractor finished. So we have the tarps on the top and I put it on the back and one side. So this is definitely not necessarily pretty, but it is functional and it was 100% free. We did not spend any money whatsoever building this. It only needs to last us a couple of weeks once we get the meat birds in there. And uh, yeah, then I'm sure it'll be repurposed for something else. So you can see the little layers are having a good time outside. I'm gonna leave them out overnight and see how they make out. All right guys, well, that again is our chicken tractor build. It basically just shows that you can make a chicken tractor out of literally anything you have kicking around your yard. So. No excuses, go out there, dig around in your uh, material pile and see what you can come up with. Alright guys, thank you so much for stopping by Mac Customs. Make sure you hit subscribe to help our channel grow. Send us a comment and don't forget to like the video. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.